Uh, I am Dr. Glenn Emerson. I teach 5th through 8th grade in the Cassidy Middle Division Computer Lab. Lately I've been exploring the uses of Minecraft for uh, educational uses. There's an educational version called Minecraft EDU. Uh, Minecraft is a building uh, video game where you can actually build with dirt, stone, wood, and other materials. I had a treehouse project in which the children had to uh, build a floor with a specific area and uh, a corral with a certain perimeter. I recently did that project. It worked very well. The children worked together cooperatively in a virtual environment. Uh, they learned practical problem solving and uh, it worked very well. All right, so we are sixth graders from Cassidy School and we were assigned an assignment of building a treehouse and a corral in Minecraft. So the corral had to be a perimeter of 24 meters and so this is our corral. And what did you have in order to build this? Were, uh, you, give, were you given supplies or did you have to find all the supplies? We were, we given. were given them. We were given two sa stacks of 64 wood um, logs and then we had to change those into wood planks and then craft them into sticks and then craft them into fences. Okay, and how did you know how to craft things into different materials? We, uh, got, we got a guide but we also play Minecraft normally so we have to memorize them. Okay. All right. So this is your corral. Yes, and this is our little fountain that I built. It's made out of cobblestone, and the top, the surrounding rim is jungle leaves. Inside of that is jungle wood, and the rest is cobblestone. Very nice. So this is kind of a bonus that you guys added yes. to yours. Okay. Just a little view. Now, did everyone have a team of three, or did it vary? No, just us. Okay. The rest were teams of two. Okay. Odd number in our class. Mm -hmm. so. All right. And had all of you played Minecraft before? Yes. Yeah. Well, all, all of us, us did. Yeah. Um, but... So this is a sign that says "Welcome to Kuna Lauren and Rachel's Treehouse." Yay! <laughs> all right. So we also had to have a requirement of a room that has an area of 25 meters squared, and this is our room with the, the area. And to our left, we have our dining room that we made a nice roof of stairs. And it's oak wood, jungle wood, and oak wood. Okay, so your, your, your 25 area room was just, was kind of in, is that area that we're standing in right now? Yes, it's yes. Um, kind of the main area. Yeah, in just our center. Main entry yeah. Room. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, these are chairs. This is so the chairs are made of jungle wood stairs and signs placed on either side of them. Okay. And the table is an oak fence with a pressure pressure plate on them. So, what did you guys think of demonstrating perimeter and area knowledge with Minecraft? It can also um, help you in real life because. Like whenever you're designing a house or if you're designing a science project, then you're going to need to know about um, perimeter and area. And so how did you all demonstrate your creativity in this project? We took some things that um, weren't necessarily required in the project but that we already knew by playing Minecraft and kind of incorporated it into the lessons that we were given. So at first we um, made our corral down here very first and then what we did was we made this main center room and our little ladder up here and then we kind of bran branched off into the other rooms that we wanted to do. Okay. Right. Do you all have any messages for teachers that may be wondering about Minecraft if it's something that they could do or that would be beneficial to do as yes, a project? And yes, yes you should definitely do Minecraft and sure <laughs> students will love you because of it. <laughs> many adults really dislike Minecraft. I really have no idea why. I'm not sure. I think that they think that it's just sort of a useless video game, but I hope that this video will show people that you can learn by doing Minecraft. Awesome. It helps a lot with architecture, math, um, counting by eights, 
of us specifically. There's some. There's this one um, thing that we had where we didn't. We weren't given the amount of cobble that we wanted to do to make um, our roof up here. So we um, mined down below, below our tree house, and made a little cave down around here in the side of a mountain so that way we could get the coal we, that we needed. Well, I'm hoping in the future to uh, use Minecraft to teach basic programming concepts to 7th and 8th graders by programming turtles to build in Minecraft. Our little room. This is a little porch off of our bedroom. Here's our bedroom. We didn't have any sheep. Yeah, like, we had no animals at all, though. That's true. So but you can't spawn in anything in this version of Minecraft EDU, so uh, yeah. we just kind of worked what what we got. You sure can, well, worked in your constraints. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. We were given 12 diamonds, um, so we just made it into a diamond block, and we had 24 irons, so we just made it into an iron block um, and called it decorative. the sacred. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what does the sign say? Sacred, sacred diamond. Sacred, sacred iron. iron. <laughs>